Hey, what's up everybody? This is the one and only Pop Culture Junkie. I'm back again doing something we haven't done in a very long time. We're checking out some packs of WWE wrestling trading cards. That's right. Picked up four packs of original WWE wrestling WrestleMania trading cards. These are brand new from Topps 2017 WrestleMania trading cards. And uh, I love trading cards. I've been collecting them for years. Uh, ever since I was a little little kid and uh, I collected everything from baseball basketball football comic cards every kind of card okay I had so many different types I have a lot of original wrestling cards and many many others well I came across uh, some WrestleMania cards and I want to do open them up but I thought hey why not share with everyone out there so we're gonna check out four packs of WrestleMania 2017 trading cards let's see if we get anything awesome or unique now we've done other ones in the past it's been again it's probably been about two years since i unboxed a uh, pack of wrestling trading cards uh, on a video and uh, for those of you who enjoyed them in the past hopefully you'll enjoy this now um, if you've been waiting for me to do more of them hey let me know because i i do have lots of trading cards that i get whether it's in a subscription box or i just come across them at, uh, at a convention or random shops and such so if you want to see me unbox more of them and talk about them you know leave me some comments let me know uh, but I decided to go ahead and get four of these. Uh, it's got uh, John Cena, Dean Ambrose, and, and Seth Rollins on the front there. Uh, the box that I picked them out of, it didn't say whether or not there was going to be any uh, specific uh, specialty cards necessarily. Like we've done cards where there would be uh, memorabilia attached to it, like maybe a piece of a shirt or a ring mat from a match. There might be autograph cards, something like that. Didn't say or specify on the box if there was going to be anything like that. I'm sure there will be something, but again, I don't know. So we're going in totally blind, and we'll see. So with four packs. Let's go with the first one, see what's inside. Okay. Uh, so we have a... Oh, okay. Well, there's a little security device uh, on the inside of them. And then you have a coupon that says uh, 50 cents off any 2017 tops. Road to WrestleMania trading card product. So if I want to go out and buy another pack, I can save 50 cents if I take that coupon. And then here's our uh, cards. Okay. Well, we have uh, Naomi, of course. She just uh, recaptured the uh, SmackDown women's title at WrestleMania uh, just a couple weeks ago. So we have Naomi. Uh, we've got an Xavier Woods from New Day. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we've got an, <laughs> the New Day uh, trio there. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Fastlane, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose uh, delivering the uh, powerbomb to Brock Lesnar there through the table. Uh, we got Chris Jericho uh, with the Walls of Jericho on uh, AJ Styles. All right. And then we have the phenomenal one himself, AJ Styles. Okay, that's what it says Raw, but he's, of course, now on SmackDown. And then we've got Callisto, WWE Superstar. All right, that was our first pack. Let's see what our second pack has. All right, we have another coupon, so saving some more money there. Uh, oh, that's funny, this one didn't have a, a little security thing. Oh well, I guess they're random. <laughs> well, our first card in here is uh, <laughs> Eva Marie, who uh, I assume, or I've heard, is no longer with the company uh, but it hasn't been officially announced necessarily but she's still on the uh, Total Diva show so I'm guessing that's why they can't officially announce it because it'd be weird that she's still somewhat a character on that show and of course they record that show like six months ago so there's gonna be a while all right we got another uh, New Day individual we got Big E I think he definitely needs to break off from the New Day I think the New Day needs to split up anyways I know a bunch of you watching are going like yeah yeah you just don't like the New Day well, I've just grown tired of it. It was it, it overstayed its welcome for a long time now. I mean, look at WrestleMania, okay? They had nothing to do with them for WrestleMania, so they made them the host, which really made no sense. It was just the fact that they had no storyline to go into. Big E is very talented, and I think he should be in singles competition, not tag team. All right, we got Triple H uh, staring down. Looks like uh, Roman Reigns there. Yeah. Oh, it's a... Eliminating Roman Reigns, so this is a rumble, Royal Rumble from uh, last year. And we got Roman Reigns uh, flying over the ropes, over the top ropes onto a bunch of people. 
We got uh, Sami Zayn against Chris Jericho. Uh, I've had the pleasure of meeting Sami Zayn actually uh, just a couple months ago. Uh, saw him and uh, he's a really nice guy, real friendly. Uh, yeah, great guy. Uh, we got Hall of Fame uh, John Cena at the Hall of Fame inducting uh, Snoop Dogg. Ugh, that's I, I'm just tired of this, some of these celebrity things. It's it makes no sense for some people to be part of that. It makes the Hall of Fame a joke. I'm sorry, but. Baron Corbin at uh, WrestleMania last year. Okay, of course he won the uh, Andre the Giant Battle Royal last year. Um, yeah, he's finally getting a little bit of a push with the uh, SmackDown roster. But. All right, let's go on to our third pack. Let's see what is in store for us here. Haven't come across any specialty cards that say like an you know, autograph or memorabilia, nothing like that. All right, we've got another coupon, of course. And let's see, we have uh, Jay Uso, we have Alicia Fox, we got uh, Triple H holding the uh, WWE Championship belt, we got AJ Styles uh, wins the number one contender Fatal 4-Way match on Raw, and then uh, we got Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt face off on Raw, we got uh, Seth Rollins. Uh, defeating Roman Reigns for the uh, WWE Championship at Money in the Bank is what the card says. All right. And finally, we have John Cena, Enzo Amore, and Big Cass defeat the club at Battleground. I got to say, I'm really surprised the club is not put together on, uh, on uh, SmackDown. I really think they should have moved Anderson Gallows over to SmackDown. Uh put them back together with uh, AJ Styles. Then you also have Shinsuke Nakamura on, on the show. I mean, that's a lot of powerhouse names right there that could really make that show go even further than it already is, okay? Just saying. All right, we're down to the last pack. Let's go and rip it open and see what is our final set of cards. We have Kevin Owens, awesome. That's somebody I'd like to definitely meet. Dean Ambrose, same. I'd like to meet that guy, really cool. Those are good good cards there. Uh, we have Triple H versus Dean Ambrose at Roadblock. That was from last year. That was just a, a horrible match. Uh, I, I just, yeah, Dean, I think, honestly, should have gone over. He should have won the title right there. Uh, I mean, he won the title later on, later on in the year, but I think he should have won that night. Uh, we have uh, Vader inducting Stan Hansen into the Hall of Fame. And correct me if I'm wrong, Vader is still not in the Hall of Fame. I think, is that correct? That's somebody. That's that's a crime. That's someone that I think should be in the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, we got AJ Styles defeating John Cena at Money in the Bank. Of course, they've had you know some really good matches. Uh, I got to see their match live at uh, the Royal Rumble earlier this year in uh, San Antonio. That was an un unbelievable match. I don't think Cena should have won, but you know it is what it is. But yes, those two could uh, definitely put on a match any any time of the time, any day. Yeah, we got Shane and Steph. Uh, when they were uh, awarded co-control of Raw. I'm glad that they've kept Steph off the air uh, since uh, Mania. I hope they keep her off for a long time, actually. I'm just really grown tired of Stephanie. Uh, I'd like them just to stick with Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle is the perfect in the perfect position right now. Okay, He can talk. He's funny. He can be serious. It's He's, he's an amazing talent that they need to take advantage of and just keep that as the, the GM, and that's it. And then our last card is Roman Reigns winning the uh, WWE World Heavyweight title from uh, Triple H at WrestleMania last year. Again, that was a very horrible main event. Uh, yeah. And then our last thing, we did get another uh, coupon. All right. Uh, well, we got a lot of great cards. Uh, we got a lot of cool ones. And I like these uh, picture type ones like these. Uh, so you can make a little collage. And honestly, that's what I... What I intend to do and I've done with some of my uh, trading cards I don't have them to show you right here uh, but I I get a lot of trading cards and for the longest time I've always kept them in binders and you put them in the sleeves and then you put them on a shelf but then you gotta try to get to the shelf to look at them or if you have people over and they want to look at your cards you gotta go find them in the binder you gotta find the right binder anyways I uh, I like getting uh, frames to where I can uh, put them up in a frame and then just frame the whole set uh, or whatever design I want to make out of the cards uh, up on a wall. So, so that way it looks like you know a really cool way to display your cards. That's that's how I prefer to do it. 
All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little unwrapping. And uh, if you did, you know, leave me some comments. You know, give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, let me know if you want to see more trading card unwrappings uh, because, again, I have a bunch. And if you viewers want to see and hear me talk about them, leave me some comments and I'll probably be uh, throwing some out there. All right. Well, if you haven't uh, done so yet and you are a new viewer, please subscribe, like, comment. If you uh, want to, you can always follow along with me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Well, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Until next time, I'm the one and only Pop Culture Junkie, and I'm signing out.